vision behind this incredible show, Breaking Bad. So please give an incredible welcome to Mr. Vince Gilligan. There was a contest for super fans of Breaking Bad, and the prize was that they got to come to this event and ask the, ask the question in person. We have uh, Di Manuel and, uh, and Phil Johnston are going to come down and ask their questions in person uh, down on either side of the, of the auditorium. Right on. Excellent. I like that look. You guys are rocking those suits uh, very, very well. Please. <laughs> Ask Vince your question. Yeah, my question was, you know, we all draw inspiration from different things in life. And as someone who's created and fleshed out some incredible characters, extremely memorable, my, my question was, how many of those characters might be modeled off real people in your life? And uh, do those individuals know? <laughs> the one character who is based on anybody, and I realize this in hindsight, and this is embarrassing, is, is Walt is probably kind of based on me. Uh, not Heisenberg, not, 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 not Walt once he became interesting, but, but Walt, Walt prior to becoming interesting probably is the closest uh, example I can give you of a character who's based on someone I know. Uh, and, and I didn't even realize this at the time. It's kind of one of those things you realize in hindsight. Walt is a guy who, who, who lives in fear until he becomes... Heisenberg, until that first episode where the seeds are planted and he realizes he's not in the middle of his rather undistinguished up to that point life. He's at the end of his life and, and he's going to suddenly make hay while the sun is shining. And that is something I find intriguing because I, I, I don't live my life uh, from a place of courage. I, I live it instead from a place of neuroses and fear. I, I realize that in hindsight. I realize what it really intrigued me about this character was not that he broke bad, not that he was a criminal, not that he, you know, uh, cooked meth or any of that stuff. That's just set dressing. What really interested me about this guy is he went forward with courage. Unfortunately, he does a great many bad things that, that none of us could get behind. None of us could say, yay, attaboy. But what he does choose to do, he does with courage, and, and, and I, I think that, at the end of the day, was what intrigued me so much about the character, even though when I first pitched it to the studio and the network, I couldn't have put that into words. It took me five or six years of thinking about this guy day in and day out to finally make that simple realization. The difference between me and, and, and Walter White really is that he, he, he goes out of his way to blame other people. Uh, that's one thing I'm proud of. I, I don't go looking for other people to, you know, anything, any, my failings are my own. I take, I take uh, complete uh, ownership of them. So, anyway. That's awesome. Um, thank you. No, it is. Thank you for sharing that with us. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, that got weirdly earnest there at the yeah. end of it.